about Jesus. That he died on the cross to set you free from your bondage. Yeah. I believe that Jesus could set you free from your sin, like he did to me. I was living in sin. I was living in drunk, getting late, getting high, and doing all these things. But then the fear of the God came to me, showed me that it was wrong. The Bible said the beginning of fear is the beginning of wisdom. You could have all the fear, you could have all the wisdom you want. But where's the fear of God in your life? You fear the police. A lot of people, they fear the police, but they don't fear the God, which is sad. And that is why it's important to fear God. Because when you're at home doing stuff that you shouldn't be doing, don't think that God is not watching. The Bible says that God is with you always until the end, end, of, end, of, end of the age. But see, the devil, which is Satan, has blinded your eyes. That is why when you watch rated R movies, you don't care because Satan is blinding your eyes. And while I'm telling you the truth, you have a disease in your life. You must turn to Jesus Christ before it's too late. The Bible says in the book of Hebrews, it's a fearful thing to stand before the Lord. It's a fearful thing to stand before God if you don't have Jesus Christ. You must follow Jesus Christ. Because today could be your day. You could die today. And I believe that God is waking you up every single day. He's giving you chances after chances. Both, don't waste your life. Don't waste your life. Come to Jesus, and you can go to heaven. The Bible calls, there's a place called hellfire. People think earth is bad. Well, hell is much worse if you don't turn to Jesus. Amen. You have to turn to Jesus Christ, repent, for the kingdom of God is at hand. The devil has been lying to you the whole time. Enough is enough. I'm here to tell you the truth, that you have sin in your life. You must cut it off. It's better for you to cut off your body one by one than your whole body to hell fire. That's what Jesus said. He says, if your right eye causes you to sin, pluck it out and throw it away. It's better for you to cut off your body one by one than your whole body to hell fire. You must get rid of, of your sin. Give it up. Because the Bible says that God is angry every day. Yeah. My question is to you. Do you fear God? Are you living in sin? Maybe. Maybe? It's not maybe. God cares, man. The Bible says that God is angry every day. You got to turn, man. Turn or burn. Turn up, burn. You're wasting your time, man. Repent, repent. God cares about abortion. Repent. Fear the wrath of God. You gotta like, fear God. You like to say God don't care, but do you care? A lot of people only talk about His love, which is great. I mean, God is love, but He's also God of wrath. You guys need to understand that. You must turn from your evil way. You must stop living wickedness. The Bible says that God hates prideful people. He only gives grace to those who are humble. Yep. You got to be humble and stop being prideful. Because God is angry when you're humble, when you're pride. Give up. Give up your sin. A lot of people, they don't want to give it up. Because the devil has blinded their eyes. He's telling you it's okay to sin. And that's what he told Eve. He told Eve it's okay to eat that fruit. But it was a lie from the devil. You have to listen to the voice of God. Open up your Bible. It's, don't waste your life. Open up the Bible. And read the Bible and obey what you read. 
because a lot of people in here are going to help fire. And I don't want to see you perish on that day. Jesus says on that day, many people will say to me, Lord, Lord, I cast out demons in the name. I heal the sick in the name. You know what Jesus would say to you? Depart from me. I never knew you. Get away from me, you people who break God's law. It's not enough. I don't care how many demons you cast out. I don't care how many people you heal the sick. Without the blood of Jesus Christ, you would not enter heaven. But a lot of people think they can go to heaven on their own. But the Bible says only he is the way to heaven. Jesus is the only way. Muhammad did not claim that he is the only way. Buddha did not claim that he is the only way. Joseph Smith did not claim that he is the only way. It says that Jesus, the Bible said Jesus claimed that he is the only way. The only way and truth and life. Your girlfriend is not the only way. Your boyfriend is not the only way. Getting drunk and high is not the only way. Jesus is not it's the only way. Repent, turn or burn. You're on the way to hellfire. Don't you see that? You're living in sin. You have to give up. Give it to God. People are living in sin. And that is why you're going to hellfire. And that is why you make God angry. Because you love your sin. And you no know, wonder why God is angry at you. You wonder why your life is miserable. Because you're not living for God. You're living for the devil. And the devil is not just a liar. Did you know that? He is not just a liar. He is the father of all lies. He comes to steal and kill and destroy. You've got to rebuke the devil. Turn to Jesus, because today could be your last day to die. And I believe that God is waking you up every day. He's letting you eat. He's letting you sleep. He's letting you watch TV. But God is so merciful to you. And any moment, I believe that any moment, God could take your life out. But God is so patient that he could take your life out any moment, any moment. You just have to turn to Jesus. Being a good person will not save you. A lot of people think I'm good. But if you look at the Bible, if you look at God's standard of good, he sees us wicked, evil. If there's one sin in this life, God curses God cursed this earth, and it was one sin. It was one sin, and God made a curse in this earth. So please, don't have curses in your life. You should be glad that you're not in hell fire. You should be glad. A lot of people say, oh, why was God there for me? God is there for you. You weren't there for him. The devil has been blinding your eyes. He's telling you lies. He wants you to be like God. That's what the devil wants you to be, like God. That's what he told Eve. And Eve was the first mother who ever existed. The first mother. And he told Eve, if you eat from that tree, you would die. Did God really say you should not eat from that tree? How you doing? You How's it going? We feel the devil's lies. Pretty good, can't complain. Can't yeah, it was nice seeing yeah. you out there. So that's your church that you, you go to, or you just started going? In your life. Yeah. Oh, awesome. We go to The Voice on Sunday. You must get it's called The Voice? Yeah. Okay, yeah, my buddy was asking. Yeah, maybe we'll stop by. When, yeah. when do they have yeah. When do they have yeah. gatherings and stuff? Uh, Sunday service at 7 p.m. That's uh -huh. like the main, you know. Sundays at 7 p.m.? Yeah, it's at Faith Assembly. And do they have week, weekday services too? Or no? Um, weekday is more like cadences. Uh -huh. Instagram? Yeah, I have Instagram. You can follow the voice over there now. Okay. And that'll have everything on there for you. 
Awesome. It's very, you know, trendy and hip. Yeah, that's cool. They have cool stuff going on. Awesome. He never said The voice. Let's see if I can find it. We do. That is why we hate God. Because we have sin in our life. And a lot of people are living in sin. He's speaking the truth, though. Yeah. Fear God. Yeah, he's good. Fear God, Church of Jesus Christ. Man, I don't have the internet super slow because right now out here. Um, but I'm going to add it for sure. I'll take a screenshot of it, the voice. Jesus, and it's the voice of Orlando. The Bible says yeah. you get a awesome. So you have the service you times, the location, and, and, the and then the there's something called cadences. That, that's what meets throughout the week. And, uh, and what did you do that night? What were you guys doing? Like a little ministry time? That was on Friday, right? Friday, yeah, it was yeah. called Block Party. No, Saturday that was. Saturday? Like, yeah, it was a Saturday. Oh, yeah, I was at Block Party. Oh, awesome. And you guys give out the border bottles with the cards on them, right? That one's on Friday. Oh, that's cool. So people take the waters and then they see the car. Yeah, yeah. That's awesome. Amen. Yes! If you're a homosexual, you cannot enter the kingdom of God. You can be saved. Turn to Jesus. Yeah, I gotta check that out. I'm gonna um. Black party is. Cry out to God. <laughs> it's just like the water bottles, but you because don't. You're it's not just water. They do hella kenna. Oh really? Uh, That's awesome. So you gotta you like that, God. Yeah, I'm Black gonna check it out. Open your heart to Jesus. Awesome. Yeah, I was talking about one guy that was there. He was cool too. He will. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Black party. Okay. okay. Yeah, we could do. Meet up at the church and then we all ride out together. Oh, you do. Okay. What time do you meet at the church? Um, you meet around nine. Themselves. Around nine, and then you head and out there. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna check it out God. then. So people only hear about God's love. Yeah, it's sounds under good. The cadences. Under, under cadences. Okay. I'll awesome. See you yeah, God definitely. God bless you. Yeah, yeah be safe. I'll see you soon. All right. Okay. God bless. The Bible says that God hates all workers of iniquity. All workers of iniquity. If you're living in sin, you should fear the wrath of God. You should fear the wrath of God. You should be paranoid if you're not saved. You should be scared if you're not saved. Do you think going to jail is bad? You do not want to go to hell. I'll tell you that. People say going to jail is bad. Do not go to hell. I'll tell you that. I'd rather live in jail instead of going to hell. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Folks, I'm telling you, hell is wicked. Hell is bad. The Bible says there is weeping and gnashing of teeth. Weeping, gnashing of teeth. I'm warning you not to go to hell. Get away. Get away from hell fire. Stop playing with fire. You're playing with fire when you sin. Jesus says, don't sin no more or else something worse may happen to you. Maybe that's why you're not finding jobs. Maybe that's why, because you're living in sin. Maybe that's why you're depressed. Because you're living in sin. Do not live in sin because there's a curse. There's a curse in your life. Who knows what that curse is? You must follow Jesus Christ because tomorrow may not be a guarantee that you live. Those who have ears, let them hear. Those who have ears, let them hear. Tomorrow may not be a guarantee that you live. I'm telling you right now, Hell is not a place to be in. Do you fear God? Do you love God? Because if you love God, then prove it that you love God. Prove it. Are you, are you living in sin? What are you doing? What are you doing for God? Oh yeah, Jesus loves me the way how I am. That's what the pastor teaches nowadays. It's okay to get drunk. That's what the pastor teaches nowadays. It's okay to get drunk. It's okay to get high. It's not okay. The Bible says it's abomination to the Lord. It's abomination to the Lord. Folks, I'm 
want you to not live in sin. Please have respect for God. Fear God. Because it's not, it's not good to stand before God if you're not saved. Folks, I used to, I, I was evil. I was evil. I was wicked. I'm, I was no good. But I did not come to Jesus because I was a good person. I did not come to Jesus because I was a good person. I came to him because I was evil. I was wicked. That is why I came to Jesus. It wasn't because I'm doing good things. My good works has nothing to do with me going to heaven. Do you admit that you're guilty? A lot of people don't admit that because they think they're good. I'm a good person. But let me take you to the law. Let me take you to the Ten Commandments. Have you lied before? And some of you might say, yeah, I lied before. Okay, what does that make you? A liar. All right, just by breaking that, you deserve hell fire. See, if you break the law here, you go to jail. But if you break God's law, you go to hell. You go to hell with the devil. You're going to be tortured day and night with the devil. You don't want to be tortured. The Bible says those who hate me love death. If you hate Jesus, you love pain. You love being tortured. That's what the Bible says. You hate God. You know why? Because you're living in sin. Do you admit that you hate God? Do you admit that you hate God? Well, don't hate God. Love God and obey God. A lot of people... They say, yeah, I love God, you know, but do you obey God? Do you, do you follow him? Do you, you said you love God, but you want to do whatever you want to do. That is not love. Jesus said, if you love me, he says, if you love me, you would obey me. But a lot of people, they don't really love God because they love sex out of marriage. Sex is not bad, but if you do it out of marriage, it's wrong. A lot of people are getting drunk. Yeah, I love, I love getting drunk and high. To you, you love it, but to God, he hates it. To you, but to God, he hates fornication. You know what fornication means? Sex out of marriage. That's fornication. You know what drunk means? Getting a beer? Getting liquor, get drunk, and get wasted. If you're living like that, you should be feared. You should be scared. Come to Jesus so that you don't have to go to hellfire. That's good news. That is good news. Folks, Satan is going to be tortured one day. Hallelujah. Woo! That is good news. The devil will be tortured in hellfire. Woo! <laughs> yes! Well, you, you can be saved from the hellfire. But you must believe in Jesus. You must turn to Jesus so that you don't need to go to hellfire. Screaming. Screaming. In hell. You're going to be, ah, oh, God. God, please have mercy on me. God's going to say, it's too late. You had all your chances here on earth. You choose to get drunk, you choose to get high, but you didn't want to love me. You did not want to love me. You choose to sin. You choose to live your life here rather than living your life for God. Jesus says, if you really love me, you would obey me. You would keep my commandments. How can you say you love God and you don't obey God? You still have lust in your heart. The Bible says, if you even look at a woman with lust, you commit adultery. What? That's some high standard that you have, God. Wow, that is some high standard. If I even have hate in my heart, I am a murderer. What? 
So you're telling me I never killed anybody? But you're telling me if I have hate in my heart, I'm a murderer? Yes! In God's eyes, you're a murderer! That is why you need Jesus! Oh, man! Hallelujah! That is why you need Jesus Christ! Because you have sin in your life! A lot of people don't want to give it up! And I'll tell you why! Because the Bible says people love darkness rather than the light! So, if that case, the Bible must be true! People love their sin more than love God! And so the Bible must be true. The Bible says no one is good. No one. No one is good. Who do you know in here that's a good person? Who do you know that is good? I know for a fact that you need Jesus. I know. This is why we're here. If we don't know, then we wouldn't be here. <laughs> Folks. You're on your way to hell and stop playing with, uh, you know, fire. You don't want to touch the stove because you know it's bad. But if you play with sin, it's like you're playing with the stove. You're playing with fire. Do not play with fire because it's not good to live in hell. Like, you're going to be swimming in a lake of fire. Swimming in a lake of fire with Satan. You're going to be tortured with him. It is demons. You got to get rid of your sin. Jesus says, if your right eye causes you to sin, pluck it out and throw it away. And if your right hand causes you to sin, cut it off and throw it away. A lot of people don't want to cut it off. They don't want to cut off their pornography. They don't want to cut off their cigarettes. They don't want to cut off because they love it, but to God who hates it. Because you hate God. You hate God. That's why you love looking at a man or a woman with lust. You don't want to give up your sin. You're allowing the devil to give you a foothold. Why are you always angry all the time? If you're a born again Christian, why do you still do bad things on the internet that you shouldn't be watching? If you claim that you love God, why do you still get party and wasted with your friends that smoke weed and get drunk? That is not loving God. If you love God, you would not smoke weed. A lot of people probably do smoke weed in here. You gotta give it up. Weed is not gonna save you from hellfire. It is not gonna save you. Going to church five times a day is not going to save you. What saves him? Jesus. I was going to say that. What did Jesus do? Huh? Tell me about the blood of Jesus. Well, I was going to say that. <laughs> Folks, I don't care how many times you pray, how many times you fast, how many times you, you uh, pray or fast or do whatever you want. Without the blood of Jesus, you will not go to heaven. Jesus did not say, pray five times a day and come to me. He says, come to me, and then you can go to heaven. A lot of you in here like listening to rap, like 50 Cent, Lil Wayne, Tupac. Tupac had suicide thoughts in him. Tupac had suicide thoughts in him. I heard his lyrics, he was talking about killing himself. He was talking about dying. It is late, and that's the spirit of suicide. Biggie Smalls had a, a song called Suicide Thoughts. And you guys are listening to these type of music. Yeah, yeah. you're trying to kill yourself. That's the Biggie Smalls song right there. Suicide Thoughts, and people listening to that. Please do not listen to worldly music. Listen to godly music that doesn't have curse words in it, that doesn't talk about sexual morality in it. Follow Jesus, because tomorrow may not be a guarantee that you live. You don't know what the future holds. A lot of people are like, yeah, I'm having a good time here. I'm having a good time. You know what the Bible says about that? 
A foolish person only thinks about having a good time. But a wise person thinks about death. If you're just here only thinking about having a good time, yeah, I'm only having a good time and making money. Woohoo! You're a fool! You're a fool if you're thinking like that. I already got one of those. You got one <laughs> so you know what the Bible says about there is no God? A fool in his heart believes there's no God. Psalm chapter 14, verse 1. If you believe that there's no God, you're a fool. There has to be a God in this world. Something has to create something. Nothing cannot create out of nothing. That is foolish. If I paint something, who painted it? Me. If who made that building? A man did. You would think a man made that building. It's the same with the creation. Something has to create out of something. And right now, God is calling all people to repent. You may not want to hear it, but I love you enough to tell you the truth. Amen. I love you enough to tell you the truth that you're in danger right now. You're in danger of fire and hell. I love you enough to tell you that. You may hate me from what I'm saying, but I love you enough. So you got to turn, turn, turn right now. Repent. Turn or burn. Turn to Jesus. The Bible says to be born again. I'll preach like five minutes. You want to film me? Oh, yeah. You know how to do it? No. Just look at a camera and... Um, okay. How you doing? You have Jesus Christ? Does anybody in here... No. Does anybody in here wants to give their life to Jesus? Do anybody in here... Wants to give the life to God. Fully give the life to God. Because if you don't, you're not going to make it to heaven. You may have a good life here. Oh, I love myself. But when you die, go to hell. It's not going to be like that. You're going to say to yourself, man, I shouldn't listen to Philip. I shouldn't listen to Jesus. I should have listened to them. They were telling me to turn. I didn't turn. It's too late. That is why we're all here, we're all here to tell you, turn or burn. How you doing, man? You have Jesus Christ? Amen. Amen. Follow Jesus. Cry out to the living God. Cry out to the living God. You need to cry out because you're living in sin. In any moment, God could take your life away. Amen. Any moment. Do you fear death? Do you fear the wrath of God when you live in sin? You know what Jesus says? He says, if you love your mother more than you love God, you don't deserve him. A lot of people, they love their mother or their father more than they love God. How is that love? If you, you don't sin, Jesus died for nothing. Hey, right? turn up her. You turn up her. Turn up her. You need Jesus. The Bible says all have sinned. Yes. So that means if you don't repent of your sin and turn to Jesus Christ, then you burn in hell. For all have sinned, man. You call him God a liar. If you say you have not sinned, you call him God a liar. That's what you say. That's a sin itself. <laughs> yep. And people are wise in their own eyes. man? So, like... If Jesus died for our sins, then shouldn't we like be sinning to help him so that he would have died for like something? No, I rebuke that. Why? Because Jesus is going to sin no more. So if Jesus goal was to, what, why, why did, like what was it that made Jesus die for our sins? Love. All right, love. Amen. What was, what was the sin that he died for? All. All sins. Except for blasphemy of the Holy Ghost. Okay. What is it, like I'm not trying to be rude, but like what is it that you guys are trying to accomplish here? Like, well, we're telling people calling to sinners to repentance. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's you, the first you, thing. You guys are trying to convert people, right? That's that. No, that's not the first. thing. That's the second thing we're doing. The first thing is glorifying God. The second thing is calling people to repentance. Right. So okay. If anybody wants to repent, then they can. We're not here. To, so, so I'm Catholic, mm -hmm. and I also believe um, that you know, like we're in freedom of speech and we can talk about everything. Mm -hmm. But if you guys want to, like, try to show people 
um, the love of the Lord or whatever it is. Don't you guys think that fear might not be the best way to do that? Fear the Lord at the beginning of knowledge. Yeah. So why would the Lord want us to fear Him? Because well, it's the beginning of knowledge. He said, Jesus Christ feared the Father. He said, uh, the scripture said in Hebrews that uh, he loved righteousness and he hated lawlessness. That's the fear of God. Right? Do, you, do you have a girlfriend or a sibling? Or, that's my wife. Do you love her? Mm -hmm. Do you want her to fear you? She can fear me if she wants, but I'm not yes, God. Yes, but you're not. But you're like, not. Like I'm, not fear, I'm not God, though. Fear, fear, in a respectful, respectful way. way. Yeah. Like reference. Like for example, you. Could so, be, so, 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 uh, uh, If I was God, uh, like if I was God, and I had the ability to take her away because I created her, then yeah, she needs to fear me. Of course, she needs to fear me. The re the reason why you're thinking of fear as if like, like that. <laughs> It's because the yeah. world, they, de they define, they redefine certain things. The definition of fear in God is loving righteousness, hating lawlessness. Don't fear the one that kills the body. Right, if you do that right there, you fear God. Because you know that he is the one that created everything. He's the creator. You love him enough to do these things. So that's awe. That's, that's being in, that's respecting um, the immensity, like his power. That, that's, that's awe. You could, you that's not that necessarily go, fear. No, but that's the definition of the world. Game. You want me to who, keep who recording? Who comes up with the definition? Oh. God okay. or man? All right, well then let's let's. I'm gonna preach. Replace mm. fear with another. Okay,